The Bears front office wants blue chip players. Bears fans want blue chip players. And this team needs blue chip players. Bears are going to snag Kale Williams at number one, a blue chip type player guy. But at number nine, there's a lot of players that also are blue chip that are going to fall that far. Alabama edge rusher Dallas Turner has been fluxing from six to 11 over the last couple of weeks. And crazy to say, Marvin Harrison Jr. has dropped all the way back to the 10th overall pick in a few mock drafts I've seen. And now Notre Dame left tackle Joe Alt is flexing to the Bears in very various mock drafts. And if Joe All is at number nine, in my opinion, a pure left tackle who is a generational type talent at that position, you have to take him. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year of Chicago. My name is Dick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Now, I know we cannot get a top edge or wide receiver in this upcoming draft with the number nine pick if we take Joe Alt. But if we get that elite tackle in Joe Alt, when we have an elite edge in Montez Sweat already and two premium wide receivers in DJ Moore and Keenan Allen, I think we're okay. Today, I am going to run through North Notre Dame left tackle Joel Ald's profile and how he hits perfectly into the Chicago Bears roster. Now, before I begin today's show, if you're down for the idea of the Chicago Bears drafting Joel Ald at number nine, if he is available in this draft, make sure to smash the like button on this video to show your support. Comment your thoughts on if you want Joel Ald or not to come to the Chicago Bears or what you would do with the number nine pick. And let's get a couple FGBs in that comment section right now, guys. Let's run it up. Let's show this Bears nation that we're not scared of the Packers anymore. All right, so let's now jump into Joe All out of Notre Dame. The 6'9", 321-pound left tackle has a 10-inch hand diameter, meaning he has absolute bear claws. And also, considering he's 6'9", I expect someone to have hands that big. He has an arm length of 34 and a quarter inch, along with a 28-inch vertical. So he won't be playing for the Bulls, but he could still probably dunk considering how tall he is. And he runs a 5.0540 time and is a projected top 10 pick at the moment. In three seasons with Notre Dame, he has a 90.7 PFF grade, according to PFF, obviously, along with over 2,100 snaps that he only allowed four sacks in total, 15 quarterback hurries, and five quarterback hits, along with only two penalties in three years. This past season for the Fighting Irish, he played in 713 offensive snaps, 344 being rushing, 368 being passing, allowing only one sack two quarterback hurries and two quarterback hits along with only one tackle for loss. I bet our quarterbacks the last couple of seasons wish that they had a left tackle like that and that's nothing against Braxton Jones but Joe Alt is that elite level left tackle that the Bears need to protect Caleb Williams. Now before I go into his strengths please make sure to get your ticket to our first ever NFL draft party on April 25th at 6 p.m. Central Time at Rizzo's Bar and Inn in Wrigleyville, Illinois sponsored by Freshy Organic Tequila Seltzer. Make sure to scan the QR code on the screen right now to get your ticket today, which is a donation to a Chicago nonprofit college bond opportunities for first generation college students to have mentorship and financial aid to their university. Free drinks while supplies last. Live stream from the bar if you can't make it. Drink deals as food deals as well. Other podcasters, games, giveaways, and more. We'd love to see you guys there. Your donation can be $1. It can be $500 or anything in between. Anything's greatly appreciated. We just want to see you guys there. So now let's go into Joe Alt's strengths. Great size and speed for a guy that big. I mean, he actually plays more like a tight end and a lot of scouts, you know, definition of him, but he has the ability and eliteness of a left tackle. According to our friends over at NFLDraftBuzz.com, he has a 99 out of 100 pass blocking grade, which we need for sure, and a 97 out of 100 run blocking grade, which doesn't get much better than that, considering the fact he was the best run blocking tackle in the NCAA last year. His great ability, speed, and overall size allows him to break it to the second level and take out multiple defenders at one point. And according to scouts and and NFLDraftBuzz.com. His size and agility combination is unheard of. Explosive first step and speed that makes it very difficult for defenders to get around him. He dominates at the point of attack as well with his arm length and arm strength. And he's a very smart player that picks up blitz and different packages along with always being in the film room, understanding opposing defenses before he plays them to call out certain plays in case the quarterback has to make a change at the line. So he solidifies the need of an elite left tackle for years to come for this offensive line along with with no penalties, no injuries, no quarterback hits. Overall, this guy just makes everything so much better for this offense. Again, nothing against Braxton Jones, but you have the opportunity to get a blue chip player, kind of like what we're doing 
with Caleb Williams and getting a prospect generational type quarterback out of him, you should do the same thing with your left tackle to keep him protected for a very long time. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below if you think the Bears will get Joe All at number nine or even want him or even the Bears could maybe even trade up and get him depending on what Ryan Poles wants to do. They were very active at Alts Pro Day at Notre Dame, so very excited to see that. But I want to hear your thoughts. As always, thank you for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. Like the video, put FGB in the comment section below along with your thoughts, and please subscribe if you haven't already. As always, bear down, baby.